Hi guys, welcome to Robotics Elective in your grade 10. So for this semester, we will be learning um, robotics by using Arduino and also Tinkercad online. Okay, so for our first week of discussion, we will be talking about two topics. First, the introduction to Arduino and also the robotics. And the next topic is actually the robotics design process. So for this video lecture, I will be talking about the introduction to Arduino, the robotics, and also the, um, the Tinkercad. Okay? So let's talk about what is a robot. So when we say a robot, it is actually a system that contains sensors like ultrasonic sensor, um, fire detection sensor, and water level sensor and a lot more. Aside from sensors, um, we have control systems, manipulators, power supplies, and software all working together to perform a specific task. So what is actually the difference between robot and also a software or an application? A program, a software, or an application, it basically work because of the code or, or the algorithm that you implemented or you inserted okay here in robot by the use of the program or by the use of the codes we will insert a hardware uh, we will insert a hardware so it depends on what specific hardware if we are talking about the manipulate uh, if we're talking about the microcontroller hardware or the sensors or the control systems okay so in robot uh, we are actually using a hardware here for program or any software or an application we're only um, we are not using a hardware we're typically creating a program to solve a uh, to solve a problem like that one another one when you say a robot um, it is actually the designing of the building the programming and also the testing a robot is actually a combination of physics a mechanical engineering electrical engineering structural engineering mathematics and also the computing so basically if you know robotics um, you should be able to know these types of courses okay but i'll try my best to insert these courses in one course which is our elective robotics okay but basically, if you will experience um, my class in robotics, um, you will know um, what is the purpose of this um, of this sensor in physics. What is this purpose, or what's the purpose of circuits? Okay, we are touching physics and also electrical engineering. Um, how about um, the designing part? So we have the structural, and we also have the mechanical type of engineering, and a lot more. Of course, you know that one, the, the mathematics and also the computing. We are doing, uh, we will do actually, or we will perform um, programming activities. Okay? And we need to talk about the four essential characteristics of a robot. So, without these characteristics, uh, it is not a robot. Okay? First, your robot should have sensing. Okay? So, uh, another one your robot should move so the robot should have a movement third second to the uh, second to the last the robot should have energy or a power source okay just like a just like our uh, just like our body we need to have an energy right and the last uh, and also the last essential characteristic we have intelligence or this this should be the brain okay so we will um let or we will create a set of codes or a set of program that will manipulate our robots okay so since i'm already talking about robots let's talk about first what is robotics so robotics it is a branch it is a branch of engineering that involves the conception the design the manufacture and the operation of robots um, there are some universities here in the Philippines offer uh, they're actually offering um, robotics engineering 
Okay. I believe that UPLD has robotics engineering or other schools here in the Philippines, but mostly um, robotics engineering are available abroad. Okay. So, what is an Arduino? So, for a four-hour course for the entire semester, we will be using Arduino. Okay. So Arduino basically it is a microcontroller that contains an onboard power supply, USB port to communicate with PC and any devices. So if you can see this one, this is a good example of Arduino. A type of Arduino, it's Arduino Uno. Okay? I know that you have questions in your mind, how can we insert our U Arduino to a USB port? To our computer if we don't have any computer uh, to answer that question that's why I let you um, I let you use Tinkercad because the Tinkercad that is um, our simulator or that is the application that will help us simulate what should be done in real life or what should be done real time it can be simulated using the Tinkercad application online Okay, so don't worry, uh, before I will end this first part of our discussion or first part of this topic, I will show you the Tinkercad environment. Okay, so also on Arduino, basically it is an open source electronic prototyping platform. So this is based on a flexible, easy to use hardware and software. So I will show you as well the, the, uh, the three things if we will talk about Arduino. First, just like what I showed you earlier, it is a physical piece of a hardware. Next, it is a programming environment I will show you. This is the programming environment. This is the IDE that, we, that we're going to use. And you can see this one in the Tinkercad. Okay, and lastly, Arduino is also a community and, and a philosophy. So when we say a community, so for example, if you would like to ask questions regarding um, parts or regarding some programs that you wanted to know, the community will help you answer. All you need to do is just to post a question. Aside from that one, in the community itself or in the Arduino.cc, that's actually the website of the community uh, you will be able to see there the tutorials okay okay so right now um, let's talk about microcontroller since we're done understanding the Arduino this time we will talk about microcontroller so microcontroller by the way it is a small computer on a single chip it contains um, a processor, a memory, an input, and output. Arduino is an example or a good example of a microcontroller. Okay, so microcontroller typically embedded inside some devices that they control or manipulate, just like my um, electronic scooter. So the electronic scooter, um, it will not work without a program, so it should need to have a microcontroller. So by the use of that microcontroller, um, the, um, the electronic scooter will move, okay? Aside from that, a microcontroller, it's often small and low cost, so meaning it's cheap. And also because it's prototyping, that's why it's also cheap, okay? But if you want to build uh, a very large robot, uh, of course, it, uh, it's not low cost, it's high cost already. Okay, so why Arduino? Why we are learning Arduino? First, it is a good place to start with since it's a prototype approach. Next, um, it can build projects or products in an affordable way. And also, it can um, build um, products fast with easily um, with the parts or basically... Um, available online all you need to do is just to search the name in Shopee or Lazada and it's actually available third 
um, it serves as the basic needs or serves the basic needs parts available supporting documents and many examples and tutorials in the arduino.cc okay building electronic systems and circuits are now are now easier because of arduino so i know that you are actually good in physics or most of you here love physics here i will make sure that aside from learning the theory in physics we will now apply all of that here so we will talk about ohm's law what are uh, or what uh, what is uh, how can i show you the current the voltage and also the resistance in circuits okay i will show you that one later on so these are the if we will talk about foods diba? if you will to, uh, talk about foods for example um leche flan what are the uh, what are the ingredients in leche flan so here as what you can uh, as what you can see right now on my screen what are the ingredients of an arduino uno so these are basically the ingredients of an arduino uno aside from that one we also have types if you have uh, if we already have uh, arduino uno we also have mega we also have lily pad we have arduino bt we have arduino nano we also have the mini okay and by the way we also have raspberry which is commonly used right now okay let's not talk about that okay let's talk about digital or or analog i know the fact that already um uh, i already discussed this um the different types of signals um, aside from your discussion in your physics and also in my course before I would like to emphasize that in digital we are actually getting two signals only zeros and ones so zero it's off one it's on if we were talking about analog um, it will give you a signal however it's not accurate or it will only give you a range from the minimum value to the maximum value here in the robotics elective i will let you experience how to use digital and analog signals by using our arduino uno okay so right now we will talk about the arduino setup we have two parts uh, we have the hardware and we also have the software for the hardware part um, this is actually our robotics kits since we are um, we are doing it online we will be using the tinkercad Okay, Tinkercad will be our hardware part and also will be our software part. I will show you later on. Okay, this is the hardware, a good example of a hardware. Uh, these are the parts or the equipment that we're going to use sana. Um, since it's pandemic, we can't touch it. Okay, but don't worry. All you can see right now on the screen, um, it's actually readily available in the Tinkercad. This is our Arduino IDE. This is what I showed you earlier. This one. Okay. One moment. Okay. Okay. So since I'm done with my presentation, I will show you the think uh, this is actually the environment uh, the community. All you need to do is to go to um, Arduino dot cc. This is actually the community in Arduino there um you can see there the um the hardware available the software the cloud and all you can see the community here from the forum going to the arduino day okay so basic uh here we have um march 27th would be our arduino day 2021 you all need to do is just to submit your entries before um before march 14th However, I believe we can't finish <laughs> March 14, so we will just um, try to watch their video or watch live stream. Okay, aside from that one, you can also download, one moment, uh, here the software. All you need to do is go to software and you can download the Arduino IDE here. Okay, 
Next one, we can go right now to Tinkercad. So, Tinkercad.com. Okay, one moment. In Tinkercad.com, all you need to do, you need to make sure that you will log in using your UP account. Okay? So, you can see here 3D. One moment. Go to your account or this is your profile. So, this is your profile. For example, this is my profile for number and artist. Um, I can choose 3D going to lessons. But for now, I want you to click the circuits. There you go. And for now, you still, um, since you didn't have, a, you did not create any project, so um, you, uh, it's not yet available here. Okay? So let's go and one moment. Tinkercad. Okay. So you can see here circuits, and you can create your new circuit if you will click this button create new circuit here you will be able to see here all the equipment or all the tools that uh, that actually needed for our circuits or for our um, for our topic or for our discussion so from the arduino for example the basic or all here you can see your arduino so here, this is the breadboard. This is what I said earlier. So, if you will just here, so you have the development board already. All you need to do is just to put something in here. Okay. Aside from that, since we already have a simulator for our hardware, we also have the part here where we can insert our codes. Here, you can see the blocks here that actually looks familiar to you because uh, I know that you're done with the scratch aside from the scratch I also introduce mbot and make block um, make block programming uh, but now since you already grade 10 I want you to use the text so in the text you'll see something like this okay you need to take note about uh, these functions we have set up function and we also have the loop function. In the setup function, take note that um, in the setup function, um, all the variables needed, you need to initialize here. For the loop function, by the word itself, loop, if you will put something in here, it will loop. For the digital write, the delay, and all of that, I will discuss that one in our next presentation.